Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with another session on Rasa 2.0. In today's session, I am going to show you that how you can use the fallback policy or let's say how you can handle the request that your bot is actually not designed for. So this is all that we will be covering in this session. Now let's not waste time and let's get started with fallback policy. So let's get started. All right, as you can see on your screen that this is a project which we covered in the last session and there we have added one very interesting feature and that was to call any custom API or let's say to play any custom video through your Rasa chatbot. So this is that we have covered in the previous session. If you haven't watched that video, you can go there and you can check it. So let's get started with fallback policy. Now, before starting with the fallback policy, I would like to show you that why do we need the fallback policy, right? So for that, let me just run the Rasa shell first. So with this, we will check that why do we actually need the fallback policy? So let it finish and we'll see why do we need it. Now, let me do one thing. Apart from the data set that I have already provided to my Rasa chatbot, I want to add anything else. Uh, let's say my bot is not trained for the question like who is the prime minister of India. So my bot is not actually trained for this. So I want to ask this question. So let's say. All right. So what is the output? You can see. Uh, let me just go up all right so in here you can see this is the question based on that it is predicting that this is name play underscore video which means it is predicting it incorrectly and also the confidence level for that is very low which is 0 0.24 which is very less I guess right so that is why based on that it is calling some random action whether it is the other action or it is the custom action which we designed in the previous session right so this is how it is working so just because it has predicted that this is play underscore video so based on that it is following this path right it is following uh let me just go in here it is following this path so based on that it is going for this action part but it should not reply with this right so this is why it is working as per this but we don't want this to happen instead of saying this instead of calling this custom action it should be able to say like sorry i didn't get you please try again or sorry i'm not actually trained for this purpose and anything else right so this is how we can say a message in case the bot is not actually trained for the input that a user have provided you so this is where your bot should be able to handle such requests. So let me just show you that how you can do that. So for that, let me just stop this first, right? And now just uh, scroll it down. Okay, so now go in here. And for that, first go to the configuration file. And in here, you can see this is a complete configuration. Everything is uh, correct and you have to let it be. And apart from that, you can see in here, in one of my previous session, I have just commented this part just because I was not actually using it, right? So let me just uncomment this part so that I can use the fallback policy. So here you can see the fallback classifier. This means it will take care of the fallback policy, which means any input message that your bot is actually not trained for. So this will handle such requests. And here, what I'm doing is I'm just adding a threshold like what should be the threshold value based on which your fallback action should come upon right so this is all that we have to do so for that right now let me just set it to 0 0.5 so that whatever is the confidence level for the input message if that is below 0 0.5 it should call the fallback policy otherwise it should follow the rest of the stories or rules whatever you have decided so this is how it is going to work right so the configuration part is done and i hope i don't have to tell everything separately just because by default whenever you are going to initialize your rasa project it comes inbuilt over there right so you don't have to copy and paste it from anywhere right so you can directly go uh, to that part right and after that what exactly we have to do is we have to add 
few examples for the fallback policy so based on that your bot should be able to understand that this is a kind of a question that is actually not coming into the real data set which your chatbot is actually designed for right so for that first go to the nlu.yml and in here you have to add a new intent and that intent will be the out of scope so this is how we have to add that so let me just add that part so here you can see I have added the intent with out of scope and in here I have added few examples like I want to order food what is 2 plus 2 who is the US president or anything so these are the few examples which your bot is actually not linked with so there is no direct connection with these examples to your bot so this is how we can say this is out of scope and that should come under the fallback policy right so this is how it is going to come and now when you have this just copy this and add it to the domain file go to the domain in here just add it and also just because this is the intent so based on that your bot should know like what your bot have to reply with if in case there is a condition of fallback policy right so for that let me just add a new one let's say utter out of scope and in here uh, just type the text and I want to say like sorry please rephrase what you said right so it's like this is a message which your bot should reply with whenever the fallback situation comes right so this is the uh, fallback policy for that or let's say this is the fallback reply from your bot side right so this is how your bot is going to handle this request so right now I'm just going to pass on a simple message uh, in case of this fallback policy but in your case if you want to modify it you can change it to something else and that something else can be a custom action as well right so you can do whatever you want in that case right so this is how I'm handling this and now I have the intent I have the action the next thing is to add a story right so this time I'm not going to add a story because you have already seen that how you can add the stories so instead of adding it to the story now I want to add it to rules.yml right so in this I'm going to add it so let me just add it over here So you can see I have already added a rule over here and in here this is a rule like out of scope and in here this is the steps the first intent will be nlu underscore fallback and now you must be thinking where is this nlu underscore fallback is coming from right so let me just tell you whenever a fallback situation will come instead of considering it as a out of scope it will consider that this is nlu underscore fallback so this is a nlu fallback and this will be the name for your intent so you have to mention it over here whether it is out of scope whether it is something else doesn't matter so you have to mention it over here and based on that in the actions you have to mention like what should be the reply on the behalf of your bot whether it's a custom action whether it is an utter action so whatever it is you have to add it like this right so this is all that I have done over here right now I am done with the fallback policy and I am done with this part now I can train the bot and I can test that whether your bot is actually replying as per the fallback policy or it is not able to handle the request right so let's just train the model and let's verify it and for training and testing both the things together I have already shown you like how you can do it right so let me just run it Also run the action server in parallel if you want, right? All right, so you can see now the bot is trained. Now we can move ahead and let's verify that whether the fallback policy is actually working or not so for that uh, i guess i have already shown you that how you can uh, enter any message right so let me just type the same thing like who is the prime minister can you see 
you're getting a reply sorry i didn't get what you said please rephrase what you said right so this is how you can see your bot is handling the fallback policy and let's verify it is coming as per the fallback policy or not right so for that just scroll up over here right so you can see who is the prime minister of india and in here uh where it is like yeah this is a message right and the name is nlu underscore fallback and as you have seen in the nlu data right there is no intent with the name nlu underscore fallback but it is coming as per the fallback policy based on this out of scope so based on this it is uh, coming this part it is coming to this nlu underscore fallback and also if you will notice the previous line nlu confidence is 0.19 something something for intent out of scope which is lower than nlu threshold which is 0.5 which we set in the configuration file which means if the confidence level is less than 0.5 then your fallback policy will come into the picture right so this is how it is coming into the picture right and also you can see confidence it is showing is like 1.0 1.0 is for the nlu part not for the out of scope right so it is not coming as per that so that is why it is coming into the picture and after that just based on the rules that we have set it is calling utter underscore out of scope which we set over here right and based on that you can see the output is sorry i didn't get uh, what you said please rephrase what you said right so this is how uh, we are just calling the fallback policy right so i hope now you have got the proper understanding like how you can uh, add the fallback policy how you can handle the unknown questions which a user can say and that is quite obvious that the user can type anything that we actually don't know about right so that is why this fallback policy should be present in the chatbot if in case you are going to make one right so that is the most important thing and i hope you have got a proper understanding for that but still if you are facing any difficulties in understanding the fallback policy then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from my channel also please share this video with all your friends right so that uh, we can make more 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 videos for the topic that you actually want to learn from our channel so stay tuned to our channel till then bye bye and happy learning